My name is Tiger. This paper is a CMOS whole sensor with reduced sensitivity drift, uh, with uh, sensitivity calibration for variable biomagnetic sensors. The uh, proposed calibration technique is synchronous excitation, and I will talk about it later. Uh, the contribution of this, this paper is to develop a low-cost, highly reliable, variable biomagnetic sensor. The first is an introduction of what and why variable biomagnetic sensor. The second is a sensitivity calibration and uh, the proposed synchronous excitation concept. Then, experimental results and the field trials. Lastly, summarize the contribution of this work. Uh, first, an introduction of what and why variable biomagnetic sensor would be given. Biomagnetic fields, especially human biomagnetic fields, are magnetic fields emitted from human bodies. This field reflects signs of health and the physiological changes. Um, the physician or other professional may need to measure these changes of field over a long period of time. Then, uh, therefore, participants may be asked to wear sensors during the, their daily lives. Uh, to minimize the interference of participants' uh, life, uh, lives, the sensors should be small, lightweight, and wearable. For the sake of acceptance, the sensors should be cost-effective. Uh, today's biomagnetic sensors. Up to now, today's biomagnetic sensors Up to now, today's biomagnetic sensor is super, the super quantum interface device, also known as SQUID. A SQUID consists of uh, superconductors and uh, operate at extremely low temperature, namely 77K, making it too bulky to be a uh, wearable biomagnetic sensor and too expensive. To meet the requirements of uh, wearable biomagnetic sensor, which are small, lightweight, and low cost, we achieve it by uh, integrated circuit. CMOS and MANS are the two, two main technologies we can choose. CMOS doesn't need a process, uh, doesn't need a post process, and the cost is lower than MANS. So CMOS is chosen is chosen for this design. To detect magnetic field, a whole probe is integrated in the circuit. However, the sensitivity of an uncalibrated, uh, the sensitivity variation of an uncalibrated whole probe is poor. A whole probe's accuracy varies with temperature, varies with temperature, mechanical stress, and probe edging. Uh, that cause is sensitivity drift. Uh, to reduce sensitivity drift in a whole probe, a calibration mechanism should be uh, applied into the whole probe, into the whole sensor. A calibration mechanism typically consists of three subroutines, drift sensing, reference comparison, and error adjustment. To sense the drift of a whole probe, typically multiple drift sensors, uh, such as a temperature sensor, uh, a stress sensor, and etc., et are implemented in a system. Such systems reduce the drift of the whole probe, but do not optimize the probe. For example, the drift sensor 
the two sensors <coughs> sense the phenomena nearby the whole probe, but not inside the whole probe. And uh, using multiple sensors, using, mu using multiple probes, causing high cost. So, is there any method that can achieve both se sensing inside the whole probe and the cost effective? The calibration of this work satisfies that requirement. For the purpose of sensing the drift error exactly, uh, exactly on the whole probe, and for the purpose of saving silicon area, this work generates a, magnet, uh, a reference magnetic field on, uh, by uh, generates a reference magnetic field by using an on-chip coil. The coil is integrated above the whole probe and uh, generate a reference magnetic field to the whole probe. If the sensitivity of the whole probe drift, the reference magnetic voltage received by the whole probe drifts. However, the whole probe receives two magnetic fields. One is, re one is the reference ma magnetic field. The other is the external magnetic field. The drift calibration loop should extract the reference magnetic field, not the external magnetic field. The signal amplified pass should extract the external magnetic field, not the reference magnetic field. But the reference magnetic field and the external magnetic field inject into the whole probe simultaneously. So how do they distinguish the magnetic fields? The proposed synchronous excitation technique can achieve that. The object of the synchronous excitation is to obtain a DC reference magnetic voltage at the output of the whole probe. As soon as the DC reference magnetic voltage is at the output, it can be simply extracted by a low pass filter. The key concept of the synchronous excitation is to modulate the frequency of the coil to the same of the frequency of the whole spin current bias. In phase one, a current moves through the coil and the coil generates a magnetic field. The whole, the whole probe sends the magnetic field and converts the magnetic field into a uh, output voltage. In fact, too, the whole spin current bias rotate uh, the whole spin current bias rotate its coupling node, uh, rotates its input node of the whole probe. The output of the whole probe rotates its coupling node counterclockwise. In the same phase, the, cur uh, the coil current moves through the coil, reverses its direction, and uh, then the output voltage of the whole probe is the same as it was in phase one, and the, the uh, DC magnetic voltage can be obtained illustrate the idea in, in the frequency domain. The frequency of the whole co coil current bias, F coil, enters a modulator. The, coil, uh, the whole spin current bias, F spin, is the modulating frequency because F coil is the same as F spin. The output voltage, the output frequency, F out, is modulated to DC. The hardware implementation is simple. The frequency generator sets F coil the same as F spin. The experimental result, 
The sensor was fabricated in a 0.5 micrometer CMOS process with 1.7 millimeter square di area, including pad ring. The sensitivity drift measurement was done by using a programmable temperature and a humidity chamber. The measurement result of three samples are shown. With the proposed calibration method, the sensitivity uh, drift was less than 73 ppm per degree. The field trials with uh, 55 volt per Tesla, the sensor sensed a magnetic field emitted by a human thumb and generates an output voltage larger than 5 millivolt. The, mag the, mag uh, the magnitude of the output voltage was expected from, to vary from person to person. Future work involving this uh, design is to plan to decode the sensed field and uh, to plan or uh, design clothes, clothes and gloves in which our sensor can be embedded. Uh, summarize the contribution of this work. First, highly, highly integration ability and low cost by CMOS process. Second, small. The size is uh, 1.7 millimeter square and lightweight. Third, simple hardware implementation. Uh, third, highly reliability. Sensitivity drifts less than 73 ppm per degree and a simple hardware implementation with proposed synchronous excitation calibration. Thank you for your participation. Any questions?